Hello everyone and welcome to Camping with Lenny. Today we'll be reviewing the Wakoka Kapamoka Portable Drip Coffee Maker. That's a hands full. <music> So, reason why I want to review this product is because I am addicted to coffee. Coffee for me is the one thing I'm going to do first thing I wake up in the morning and possibly have another cup of coffee after lunch. So, because of this is a camping show, um, for me, having coffee with, in the camping is like a, a stable thing for me. The only problem is it's kind of hard to find a proper coffee gadget machine drip whatever it's kind of just hard to find one and um for the past few camping trips i've been using if you guys have been listening i've been i've been using the instant coffee and um i thought that's going to be good enough during camping but my glamping side of camping for me kicks in and uh, i had um every morning uh, for the past few trips uh, it's just been a very miserable time because i don't have proper coffee so i've been doing research regarding what's the best uh, camping coffee thing for a while and i come across uh, i come across to uh wakoka wakoka actually has some products specialized in cappuccinos and espresso on the road especially if you're hiking or traveling they they have they have products that cater to that market and um at home i do use a drip and i've been looking for a drip style system and this actually came up the uh, cup of mocha and i was very very impressed based on the research i'm getting and some of the uh, reviews that's coming out from uh from the internet and i decided to um to get one of these so i bought it i tried it I really tried it, and uh, as soon as I got it, I got it washed. I made myself a cup of coffee based on the uh, recipe that Bococa put together for uh, for this coffee, uh, uh, for this trip. So, I used it for a while. I haven't used it in camping yet until my next camping trip coming up. I'll be using this coffee, ma- uh, this drip coffee f- uh, for this trip. But I've been using this for work. I actually made a coffee uh, bag or coffee bag portable coffee station to uh, to bring with me when i go to the office or on the road at least i can make my own coffee have my own grinds all that good stuff so i'll tell you guys about the, the recipe later on after after uh, the full review itself so you guys have an idea how i'm actually doing this so let's go straight to the let's go you know what let's just go straight to what the characteristics of this product itself the dimension is very simple it is uh it's the circumference of uh it's 89.5 mill- mill- millimeters to by 169 millimeters so it's a good cup. It's a good size travel mug. And it's, uh, it holds roughly about uh, 300 millimeter, no, sorry, milliliter uh, of liquid. That's roughly about uh, 10, uh, 10 ounce, 10 fluid ounce. So it, it's, it, it holds a lot of coffee. Like a typical mug that you get, a uh, slightly oversized mug you get in Starbucks and all that stuff can actually fit in this mug itself. So it's pretty cool. It's pretty neat. Um the uh, the the whole thing is designed to have uh, to use a paper cone filter. Uh, th- then you put your grinds in there, you pour it in, wait until it drips. Then put your sugar, whatever you want to put in there, sweetener, whatever you desire for your coffee, and twist, remove the filter. Uh, then put the cup, the the cover on, right? And the good thing about the cover, the cover is actually water. Uh, it's drip proof, so it doesn't drip. So if you grab your coffee, what I normally do for a brand new coffee mug, I actually do a um, a shake test. So I put my coffee there, do a shake test with the with the with, with the uh, with the with the cover, and see if there's any drips. And I, when I did the uh, the the shake test, and nothing came out, so I was very very happy. The mug alone, without the the drip um, doohickey on top, works perfectly as just straight mug. 
So I'm very happy with that. So just in case I decide to make my own coffee, I'll just use that as my mug itself too. So that's that's pretty uh, pretty pretty uh, pretty neat. Um, so like I mentioned before. It does come with a stainless steel iso uh, iso mount, uh, iso thermal thermal uh, mug, right? And also has the uh, uh, has the carrier adapter for the uh, for the filter, right? And uh, and top of that, uh, if you buy the product itself brand new, it actually comes with ten paper filters automatically. So that's pretty good. It also has this little cup. They call it the collecting pad. So when you're uh, we're out and about and you need to put the the the, uh, the drip portion of the uh, of of the of the uh, of the drip coffee maker, you can just just put it on top of that, and it's not going to uh, you you don't have to put it where the ground is. It actually has its own. It comes with its own coaster. <laughs> it's literally what it is. It's the collecting pad is slash coaster. It's small enough to fit inside uh, to 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 lay down your drip portion of your uh, your your coffee drip maker thingy and it works really well so you know after that you put it in there and then you're off to go right so so it's it's a pretty neat product and uh, i've been using it for a while i mean again i was mentioning before i was using it for work I was, i'm actually using it for the, uh, for my next camping trip because i bought it between camping and uh, camping trips so i've been using this for a while and i'm very very happy with it so with that said, I do want to go talk about the pros and cons in this one. We'll start with the pros. The pros is that the system itself is very, very well built. It, it is incredibly well built. The, the 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 mug itself does hold the the beverage or their coffee very, very warm for a while. So I'm very happy with that because I have a tendency to drag my coffee drinking for instead of like an hour drinking or have 45 minutes to an hour drinking, I actually extend it to about two hours of drinking because I like to sip my coffee. And um, speaking of coffee, I'm just going to sip my coffee right now. Oh, that's good. That's good. Sorry. If I'm going to review a coffee mug, coffee maker, I might as well drink coffee at the same time, right? So... Yeah, with that said, uh, so I'm saying that the, the build quality is great. The, the components itself is great. The the where the the filter, uh, the drip portion of it, it actually com actually compresses. So when you get your product, it actually comes in one one unit. So everything actually can be put inside the mug when you travel. So the 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 drip portion of it, if you twist it upwards, it actually it raises the the filter up high so it does not touch the liquid when it's pouring into the into the mug so that's pretty neat um so yeah so it, and after that the um the components that come with it, the scoop they does come with a one uh, one cup scoop uh, like a tablespoon um with the unit itself and um and it's pretty good plastic actually very very happy with the plastic some of the components are plastic by the way the um the lid the lid itself actually has a rubber uh seal that uh, you tw uh, you pop up and twist it out out of the way but exposing the hole when you drink your coffee from and um, during my test of the uh, shake and shake and dip and shake and just keep shaking it it actually holds the liquid very well and there's no leakage i was very very happy i was very surprised there's no leak coming out from the uh, from the uh from the lid itself so so that's very well done. The the thermal, the stainless steel th uh, isothermal uh, mug, it does feel great in the hand. It does have a slight contour to it, so it's not a complete cylindrical um, uh, mug. So there's actually a flat portion of it. So when you hold it, you can actually hold it pretty well. It's pretty well gripped. So that's pretty nice. And on top of that, um, when you pack this, or when you, when you go your camping or, or hiking, you can literally just put everything inside the mug and actually seal. Uh, just leave it there, and it's going to work perfectly because it's designed again. But I mentioned earlier, it is a portable system. You can put everything inside there, and you're good to go. You just take it out, grab your hot water, boil it, put your coffee in there, and you're good to go. So. That's uh, that's the pros in it. Now let's talk about the cons. The cons is actually very short. It's a very short list, but the biggest thing is the cones, the filter cones that it uses. It uses smaller than one number one cone, but it uses the, the one that tapers right to a point. So if you have filters from your drip that's actually flat, uh, flat at the bottom of your cone, uh, of your filter, it will not work in this one. I did try to find alternative 
filters from uh that's like a third party f- away from a bacoca uh is this, in canada it's very limited to find those kind of cones it's very very hard um i did find one in amazon i do i think i'm buying bulk because uh it's just hard to find those filters and the filters that i use is the bamboo ones and they're they don't make them so the the filter itself it's not um i call it standard dice for normal people right if you're just a normal coffee drinker and you want coffee good luck trying to find those filters i'm just saying i have no luck finding those filters i went to specialized stores i went to amazon i went to i went to i went to several coffee places and they don't have any right and um and the places that i go to actually has every single filter except that filter Right, so it is kind of hard to find. So that's one uh, one criticism that I have. The second one is uh, when you put everything together, like the the, the coffee mug, um, uh, the 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 cup, well not the cup, the the, the uh, uh, it's hard to describe it now. The um, sorry, let me start off again. The you get the mug, then you get your um, your drip man- mechanism or your uh, your doohickey. You can actually screw that into the mug itself, so it's hold sealed, right? But if you put, uh, if you're traveling, you collapse everything, and after that, you put the um, the the top of your mug where you drink from. You put it in there; it does not seal very well, so it can actually pop up pretty easily. So there's no way you can actually seal that in, especially if you're traveling and you're hiking, and you decide, hey, I'm gonna put this mug inside, like on the outside pocket. Just be aware that the whole thing will just kind of be popping out. So, but if you remove the the uh, the drip portion of it and put your 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 lid on, that's the word I was looking for. Your lid on, it is going to seal perfectly. But the lid does not seal in with into the into the, um, the drip itself. So it can get, it can get very cumbersome. The uh, first time I tried it, hey, I thought it was going to be friction fitted, right? But it does not. It just pops out. So what I ended up doing is uh, is from my coffee portable coffee station i literally just have it in a big ziploc bag with all the components including my filters the uh the the collecting cup aka a saucer and the, the filters on there and the scoop you know and my coffee itself so it's um it's it's a little weird but that it does not fit um it does not do uh fiction fitting on it so i was a very i was very disappointed and how that's actually been sealed but it does work, sort of. So, if a Coca is listening, please fix that in the second version, or just do a little simple uh, like twist thread. At least it just seals it up because it's just it's just annoying. And uh, and the other one as well too. I mentioned earlier is, is the filter. I want to go. I want. I do want to go back to that filter um, comment as well too. Is the is the um, the filter itself that uh, that you you can get the exact filter you need from a coca, but the only problem is you are paying a premium for it, and they are out of stock and be uh, and uh, and yeah, they're just out of stock and is unavailable right now in, in Amazon, especially in Canada. So if uh, it's that's the only thing, that's why and that's why I, I, I ending up getting a third party just to have a filter for this coffee maker. But overall, a little um, a little overall thing here. Uh, overall, I'm very very happy with this uh, coffee maker, and I can't wait to try it out actually in camping instead of like urban <laughs> urban lifestyle here. But uh, it is a very good coffee maker. I'm very happy with it. Um, I'm actually thinking about switching straight into this uh, the coffee mug itself because it's a very good coffee mug and uh, it does keep everything warm. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's my conclusion. My conclusion is very simple. I definitely recommend this product. I really like it. the The cons is very uh, it's very small, minor. There is a workaround on it, uh, but you just have to be creative. All right. So now, as a promise, I'm going to give you my recipe based on uh, what Coca um, recipe requirements. So my recipe for my coffee is very simple. I use Kicking Horse. Uh, Pacific Coast blend, Pacific Pike 
Pacific Coast blend. Yeah, it is a uh, kicking horse Pacific Coast blend. I grind the beans itself, just a simple grinding uh, setting for for drip. Um, the recipe that came from the coca is two spoons uh, within the filter, and you just drip from there. Right, I followed the same recipe that Bacoca put together, and the the recipe is, is very very good, uh, especially if you're if you're camping or hiking, uh, you don't want to bring a, a scale because you want to do a proper measurement. You want to do your uh, your your measurements. Having the rule of thumb is using their spoon, their their scoop. A one to one on that one, it works really well. So when I go camping or when I go uh, uh, when I go for, to work or when I bring my coffee station with me uh, anywhere, um, I do have a four cups of grind in this little container that seals in the uh, it keeps the, the the coffee fresh. So I use that as a starting point, and um, and by the time I do my scoops uh, to to uh, two uh, mugs of coffee the whole thing is over i just grind another four cups so it, it works out really really well i'm very very happy with the with the recipe the recipe that makoka provided you uh, when you buy this product and it does taste good it's not very acidic it's not very um uh hard it's just a very nice smooth cup of coffee when uh when you follow the recipe itself the good news is um uh if you do decide to put a ziploc bag within your coffee mug with all your 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 uh, your collecting pods, your filters, your 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 scoop, everything that's fit into the to the mug itself, so it's easy to carry. So, in conclusion, highly highly recommend this product. I really really like this product. Um, I don't normally provide reviews in a simple coffee maker drip solution, but for portability, for camping, for just urban stuff, if you decide to bring your own coffee when you go to the office like I do, this is a great solution. Thank you. And I'll see you guys next time here at Camping with Lenny. Oh, 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 oh,